Hello and welcome back. And that's right, today I want to talk about some news that has glided its way across my web browser about QNAP kind of stealthily adding ZFS to a number of their solutions. I think it will be safe to say that when it comes to their desktop units, one of the most popular units in 2024 moving forward is this one, the QNAP TS-464, powered by a Celeron-based processor inside, 2.5 GBE, PCIe upgrade slot, and a bunch of other features. And... Up until recently, it only supported QTS, that is the EXT4 version of QNAP's operating system. And now they're adding ZFS. They are adding QUTS, that is their ZFS based operating system. Currently, at least up until now, only available on some of their more prosumer and businessy class units. Indeed, the lowest bar of entry to get access to that was buying one of their £1,000 NAS devices like the 73A series. And this device, which is regularly on sale, knocking around again about between five and 600 nicker, is now going to have ZFS on there. It isn't just this one either. Uh, the 64 series is going to feature ZFS there. And again, it looks like it's going to be a gradual staged rollout across devices. The earliest device that's going to receive it is the TS453E. Uh, there is a two bay variant of that model as well, as well as the uh, 64U series as well. And it looks like this is something that's going to gradually roll out across a lot of their ranges. Now, the one, there's no mention of backdating that to the previous generation, like the 53D series. And there's no mention of what exactly which features are going to be integrated. But I have been able to open up a few questions with QNAP here in the UK and ask them a little more about it. So... First and foremost, what is going to be included? Well, that is going to be dependent on your system. Uh, when QTS 5.2.2 officially rolls out for this device, that is when this option is going to be added during the initialization. You are not going to be able to just add ZFS to your existing system. Adding the QUTS operating system with uh, built with ZFS is going to result in you having to reformat your whole system. So you're going to have to get all your data off, format the system and bring it back, which let's be honest, is a bit of a bore lake. Secondly, when you are adding ZFS to this, do know that ZFS is a little bit, well, hungry. It's kind of like Pac-Man on a holiday. It will really eat up resources. And you have to have at least eight gig of memory. If you don't have eight gig, there's no point in installing it. Now it's too early to say whether uh, QNAP are going to gate this. So in other words, if you don't have eight gig, it's just not going to let you install it the way some applications won't let you install without the right amount of memory. But with eight gig, you can take advantage of QUTS, you remove the volume layer effectively right directly onto the pool. Then you've got some of the advantages that are built into ZFS caching there and some of the inline stuff. Now I say inline is really, really important here because if you want to take advantage of some of the more advanced inline features like inline to duplication, you're gonna need 16 gig of memory, which means you are gonna to need to scale up that memory significantly to take advantage of the full length and breadth of ZFS features that are built into QUTS. Remember, there's no additional charge, it's just to become available to users. Now, the next thing to keep in mind harks back to some manufacturing choices that were forced upon the hands and heads of the majority of NAS brands way back in 2021 and 2022, and that is to do with fixed memory. That's why this device is on the table. This is the TS264, their two bay model. And this system may well add ZFS down the line, but there was no mention of it on the official pages. And I think a big part of that is this system has fixed memory. Originally, it was gonna roll out with the same flexible four to 16 memory that the previous unit did, but it started arriving with fixed memory on board. Some of them, some devices with eight gig of fix and some of them with flexible memory. Indeed, if you're watching this, do double check whether your system has memory modules on the inside, or if it doesn't, it means you've got fixed memory, which means you can't upgrade it. Power down the device safely, remove some drives, keep track of which drives are in which slot, and leave a sufficient amount of time between power down and handling the device. And if you have a look inside, you will find on this inside wall, some sodium slots. This is where your memory lives. If you don't have sodium slots, that means you have got a system with fixed memory. The reason for that being, we talked about this on previous videos, there was hardware shortages post-pandemic and lots of things such as semiconductors became very, very hard to get hold of at the manufacturing sector as production flim flammed between home offices, automobiles and whatever during that period. So keep in mind that although you may have one of these systems, if you don't have 
flexible memory, you may not be able to take advantage of most or all of the advantages of ZFS. But nonetheless, this actually brings down the kind of price point for turnkey ZFS solutions amazingly low across the whole turnkey spectrum. Spectrum. Now, there's going to be some of you out there going, well, just in still true now, it's got ZFS on it, it's free. And it's true, it is free. But keep in mind that it's not a turnkey solution. You're going to have to maintain it. You won't have a lot of the apps and services that are built into QTS, uh, QUTS's platform. The mobile app, the desktop apps, the online relay services, that sort of stuff. This presents the easiest and lowest price point now to access the features of ZFS in a turnkey NAS solution. But again, keep in mind, with these systems, they're running on Celeron. This is running on an N510 5 or an N5095A, and the TS4538 runs on a Celeron J4162. Uh, I'm calling cool available at short notice at parties. So you have to keep your expectations for how this is going to run relative. You can definitely run TrueNAS on a Celeron. I've done it multiple times in custom DIY NAS videos here on the channel, but it's not going to match any kind of Intel Core or an embedded Ryzen at the top end there. So do keep that in mind. But what do you guys think? Are you an existing QNAP NAS owner? Are you going to go down the road of formatting your system so you can take hold of the uh, ZFS update on your NAS? Or does this not really sound like something you want to get behind after already using the EXT4 QTS for a while? Let me know in the description, uh, in the comments below where there is also a link to an article in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.